Hey, what's up guys, it's Jake. And today I just wanna show you how quick and easy it is to build the structure of a landing page using my new Start Blogging Blocks product. Start Blogging Blocks is a set of wireframe blocks built specifically for affiliate bloggers to build quick landing pages and blog posts that sell. It's built directly on Cadence Cloud and uses Cadence Blocks to have pre-designed sections that you can import into your website using one click and it's going to inherit all of your global colors and typography. And when you use Cadence Cloud and Cadence Blocks in conjunction, it allows you to build landing pages and blog posts at record speed. In fact, I'm gonna show you how to create a structure of a landing page within only a couple of minutes. And so if you're someone who, like me who has struggled with using the WordPress block editor in the past, and being able to get your layouts to look the exact way you want on tablet and mobile and desktop, this is a solution that I think is going to save you a ton of time. And if you wanna give it a shot, we do have a completely free version. It has over 20 pre-designed sections for you already. And so you could just go to startbloggingblocks.com and you can fill in your name and details here and you'll get a free license key sent to you so you can try this completely for free. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here I have a website. It's just a starter template brought in from the Cadence starter templates. It's a beautiful travel blog template. And I'm just gonna go in here and create a new landing page to show you how quick and easy this is. So we'll come back here, we'll go to pages, and we'll click add new here. And in order to get this page template ready for a full landing page, I'm going to go to the page settings here and I'm gonna turn the transparent header off. I'm gonna turn the page title off. I'm gonna make the page layout full width. So you can see that that takes all of our content and makes it full width here. I'm gonna take the content style and do unboxed. I'm going to disable the vertical padding and I'm going to disable the show featured image here. And so now our page is all set up for a full width landing page. And you'll see that there is this design library button that shows up when you have the free version of Cadence Blocks installed. So I'm gonna click that. And once you've purchased Start Blogging Blocks, you'll get a license key sent to you in your email. You'll come in here and you'll be able to just enter the connection URL to connect up to our cloud. And then you'll put in your connection key here and add connection. And once you do that, you'll have a brand new tab available to you. And this is Start Blogging Blocks here. And so as you scroll down here, you can see all of the designs that we have. These are a mix of both free and premium designs that we have offered. And there are a ton of different categories of of blocks here that you can see on the left. So we have buttons, pros and cons boxes, product boxes, pricing tables, all sorts of things, including page building blocks, which would be hero sections and content sections and things like that. And we're going to be adding a ton of these designs to the library here. And so let's just start building our landing page here. And so I'm here on the hero category and I'm gonna choose this hero section here. And one of the major perks of using Start Blogging Blocks is that it uses the Cadence Global Color Palette. So whatever color palette you have specified on your website, it's going to go and automatically inherit in your colors. So you can see that this already matches the branding with the global typography that is set for this website. And so it's gonna perfectly match your brand as soon as you import in these sections. And so I have a centered hero with a shape divider here and obviously you can come in here and you can change any of this stuff using cadence blocks functionality so th this button here might just end up saying buy now and I won't fill out all these but you can easily come in here and tweak everything and so once we have our hero section here I'm just gonna come back in here I'm gonna go down to the content section and then let's maybe have a content piece with a image on the right you can see that that gets added here and then maybe I want to switch these content sections and have a dark and a light and a dark and a light alternate here. So let's come back into the design library. We'll go to, down to the content section and we'll have this one on the left. And so you can see that these flip here and then let's just add two more of these. We'll come in here and we'll add one more content section here and we'll add one more of these content sections. And so you can see here we have the hero at the top. We have the content section with the image on the right and then the left and then right and left and then also the colors alternate. But if you want, you can obviously come in here and we can go to the block settings and we can go to the background settings and you know we could make this you know be our light 
background color or whatever we wanna do here, but I'm just gonna take that back for now. And so all you have to do is just swap out your images and the copy that you wanna use on here. And so now that we have these content sections in here, maybe we want to show customer testimonials. So we'll open up the design library, we'll go down to testimonials and we'll add this pro one that we have. And you can see that it says, see what our customers have to say. And we have customer testimonials perfectly laid out here. And then all you have to do is just put in their customer avatar here, or you can just leave the, the avatars that we have in case they don't have an image. You can put in the testimonial that they said and then tweak their star rating and you're done with that. After customer testimonials, perhaps you wanna add a pricing table. If this is a product page that you're selling a product on, we'll come up to the design library and we'll go down to pricing table here and let's add this one right here. And so this comes in perfectly. You can see it's a three tiered pricing table with the middle tier being the most popular. And so that all comes in with your global colors as well, which is great. And then to end this landing page, let's just quickly add a frequently asked questions section. So we'll come to the design library, we'll go to FAQ, and let's add this one right here. And so this one has a great two column FAQ section. And so let's just preview this page and see how it looks on desktop. And so now that this is loaded up here, you can see that we have the header section here, and this just came in from the starter template that we imported through Cadence. And then we have our hero section here. We have our content sections that alternate. We have see what our customers have to say with customer testimonials. And then we have a pricing table where you'd be able to sell a product or whatever it might be. And then we finish it with the frequently asked questions. And maybe you want just a little bit more contrast in the background here. So we'll come back here. We'll come to this top level row layout. We'll go to the background settings and we'll just make this slightly darker. So that looks good. Let's preview that one more time. We'll scroll down here and you can see that we have the pricing table and then it goes into the light brown background color and you have all of your frequently asked questions here that they can access and that's all looking fantastic. And now you're probably wondering, how does this page look on mobile? Because if you've ever built landing pages with the WordPress block editor, you know that it can definitely be a pain and trying to get certain sections and things to look the right way on mobile can be a massive time waster. And luckily for you, we have fine tuned and tweaked every one of our block designs to look fantastic on all screen sizes. So let's just open this up in mobile and see how it looks. So here we have the mobile preview. You can see that the header looks fantastic. Here's our centered hero section. And then as we scroll down, we have our content sections. Now, one thing to note is the content sections that had the image on the right, we automatically tweak them so that the image now shows up on the top when you're on mobile because you wouldn't want to have the text and then the image below it. That would just look weird. And you can obviously tweak that if you want. There might be cases where you want the image to show up on the bottom on mobile. But we have all of these content sections where you have the image on top, you have your copy on the bottom, and that applies for all of these sections, the alternating sections as we scroll down here. You can see we have our customer testimonial section that says see what our customers have to say with our customer testimonials that look great here. And then we go right into the pricing table with the basic, standard, and premium plan. And that looks fantastic. And then we jump right into the frequently asked questions. These are all lined up perfectly. A user can come in here and tap on any of these to open them and you scroll down and there's the footer of the page. So I have one more trick I wanna show you here that will help make building pages and blog posts a lot faster. So I built this sequentially, just section by section, but you might be in here and you might be like, hey, how do I add a section in between these two sections or even just swap out a button or whatever it might be. So if you don't like these buttons here, you can simply just remove them here. And then I'm just gonna enter down so we have a block being chose here and I'm gonna do a slash row for row layout and we'll go to the cadence row layout here and we'll choose the design library button here within the row layout. And when you do this, this is going to place your section directly where your cursor is. And so I'm going to open up the design library from here. I'm gonna open up the buttons here. And then let's say that we want a 3D button to show up there. So I'm gonna add this button here. And you can see that that perfectly added. And let's just preview this quick. And so here's our hero section. We have that 3D button and as you hover over it, it compresses down. And so that's how easy it is to add sections where your cursor is. In fact, let's just do one more example here. We'll scroll to the bottom of our content sections. 
We'll click over here. So we're at the top level roll layout for this content section and we'll enter down. And I wanna add a call to action here. So I'm gonna do a slash row and choose the cadence row layout. I'm gonna choose the design library button from here. I'm gonna to go to CTA, call to action, and let's add this one here. And so that comes in, it has our global colors in there. It's a nice call to action with a beautiful call to action button. And we'll just preview this quick to get a better view. And we'll scroll down here and you can see right after that content section, we have a call to action now. It looks like this, it looks beautiful. And then we'll uh, look at this on mobile really quick here. So I'll bring this up, we'll scroll down and here's our call to action. And as I said, all of our blocks are tweaked to look good on all screen sizes. And so this is looking great. And so that's all there is to it. We just built the structure for an entire landing page within a minute or two using start blogging blocks. And all of these blocks are gonna inherit your global colors and match your site perfectly. We have tons and tons of designs coming. Plus we have additional collections of blocks, which are entire groups of blocks that we're going to be adding to the product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.